Max, tonight, the heartbreak and the search for answers after the murder of a young mother. The woman was shot and killed during a party in Buffalo over the weekend. Her family now looking for any help it can get as police investigate. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller. I need my sister. Her kids need her. Her family need her. A grieving family. That's my first four. That was my best friend. She always gonna be my first friend. Trying to find answers as to who shot and killed their loved one. Gunfire erupted during a party on Jefferson and Glenwood early Saturday morning. Buffalo police say five people were shot, but 23-year-old Rayshiana Johnson of Cheektowaga died from her injuries. We is all we got, and without my sister, I don't know what we gonna do, but. Right, right. I know you want me to be strong. I'm trying. I'm trying, sister. Johnson is a mother of three small children, a set of two-year-old twins, boy and girl, and a one-year-old baby girl. Rayshiana asked me to take her kids for her and to make sure that they were okay, and I promised her that I would do so, and I, I plan on keeping my promise. Lachelle Roberson, a longtime family friend, says she will care for the children and is now in the process of legally gaining custody. Roberson is a member of the Buffalo Fathers Anti-Violence Group, and now she needs the community's help as she adopts three children and tries to make their lives whole again. I just hope and pray that our community will be able to come together at a time like this and show love to these young babies who are now motherless. They're asking for any clothing and donations for the boy and girl who are a 2 to 3T and the one-year-old baby who wears a 12 to 18 month size clothing. At a time of loss, we need love. Donations are being accepted at John B. Wiley Sports Pavilion Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Buffalo police say they need your help in finding the suspect who they say shot and killed Johnson. The confidential tip line is 847-2255. In Buffalo, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.